Hey guys, and thank you for clicking on this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you my top 10 S8 hidden features. Have you ever been trying to take a selfie or a cool epic group photo, but you just can't seem to get your hands right to click on that button? Well, S8 has a floating trigger button. In order to initiate that, you have to go into your settings, scroll into the common area, and there's gonna be an option that says floating camera button. This is gonna add an extra camera button that you can move anywhere on the screen while you're in auto and selfie mode. While you're in camera mode, if there's ever a time you want to zoom in and out and you don't wanna have to pinch the screen, you can slide the trigger button and this will initiate the same zoom techniques. The third hidden feature is the last camera feature I'm going to talk about, and this is just simply an easier way to switch between selfie and rear camera mode. All you'll have to do is swipe up while you're in the mode and it will switch to selfie or rear. You can also do this by double pressing the power button. With the S8 having this new 18.5 to 9 ratio, some people are having an issue with reaching the status bar with one hand. If there's ever a time that you want to pull down the status bar and you don't really want to stretch all the way to the top of the screen to pull it down, there is an option to use the fingerprint scanner. In order to enable this, you're going to go into your settings, click on advanced settings, and click on finger sensor gestures. Once you click this, you're going to see that there's an option to swipe up or down on the fingerprint sensor to open and close the notification panel. Since the S8 has placed all the navigation buttons inside the screen, you do have the option now to change the order of those buttons. If you're somebody who maybe use your left hand for your phone or just prefer to have the button switch, you are able to switch the back button and the recent apps button. To do this, go into your settings, click on display, scroll down to the navigation bar, and you'll see there's an option that says button layout. Here, you'll be able to switch the recent apps and the back button. There's also an option to hide the navigation bar completely. To do this, there's a little dot on the left hand side, and if you double click that, it will hide. And in order for you to show this navigation bar, you just swipe up. The S8 also has a feature called Smart Select. This is going to allow you to take more dynamic screenshots on your phone. In order to enable this, you're going to have to use your edge panel. To enable your edge panel and then also enable the smart select, you're going to go to your settings, to display, and then you're going to click on edge screen. Once you get here, you're going to make sure that your edge panels are on. To enable the smart select, find the smart select tab and put a check mark by its name. Once it is enabled, you're going to swipe wherever your edge tab is on your screen and scroll to smart select. Once you get there, you will see that you can use the rectangle shape, the oval shape, and also the GIF shape to collect a screenshot. You can move the selected area and resize it to whatever size that you'd like. The last option with this is to make a GIF. You are able to record your screen and save it as a GIF. The default setting for your notification panel is to pull down twice to see the brightness slider. If you would like the brightness slider to be available when you pull down the notification once, click on the down arrow that is beside the brightness slider and make sure you enable show control on top. Now, when you pull down the notification panel once, the brightness slider will be right there. Another hidden feature in your notification panel is the option to reply to text messages or any messages right in the notification panel. When you do get a notification for a message, if you slide down on it once, you will see an option that says reply. Once you hit that, you will be able to type right on the notification panel and send your response. Have you ever wanted to lower the brightness of your flashlight? There is that option now in the notification panel. When you slide it down and enable your flashlight, if you click on the actual word flashlight, it will give you five levels of brightness for the flashlight feature. There is a way that you can pin text or pictures to your always on display. Create a new note with a text or a picture that you'd like to pin. Once you do that, you're going to click on the three dots in the corner and hit send. You're going to slide until you find the option that says always on display and click on this. 
Now you will see that whatever you saved is pinned to your always on display. Just a quick note, it will only stay pinned for 10 minutes and if you would like for it to get repinned to your screen, you just click the note option in the corner. So those were my top 10 hidden features on the S8. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so you can see every single time I upload a video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.